Hi students, we would continue with the muscles of the thigh. So this is the second session on the muscles of the thigh. So we are going to do now medial compartment. So medial compartment is otherwise called as adductor compartment. Is adductor compartment and uh, which has got muscles like adductor longus, adductor brevis, adductor magnus, all adductor muscles are there. Adductor longus, adductor brevis, adductor magnus, and we have got uh, gracilis, pectineus and obturator externus. So these are the muscles which are present in the adductor compartment. The nerve of uh, adductor compartment or medial compartment is obturator nerve. And arteries of the medial compartment it is supplied by profunda femoris artery and obturator artery. So the obturator externus here lies uh, deep in this region and is functionally related to the gluteal region, obturator externus and it rotates the thigh laterally and the chief function of others is adduction of the thigh. So that is uh, a small introduction about the adductor compartment. So here the muscles of the medial compartment of the thigh they are arranged in three layers that is the first layer that is the anterior most layer first layer consists of three muscles pectineus I'm writing for first layer pectineus adductor longus then gracilis these three muscles are considered in the first layer so here we can see this is gracilis here is adductor longus and this one is the pectineus so these three are the superficial layer or the first layer or the anterior layer. The middle layer uh, consists of adductor brevis. So you can see here this is adductor brevis and the posterior the third layer consists of adductor magnus. And we can also see obturator externus here. which is functionally belongs to the gluteal region that is the obturator externus. So all the muscles of the adductor compartment of thigh are supplied by obturator nerve. Two muscles of the adductor compartment that is pectineus here yeah, this is the pectineus and uh, uh, adductor magnus are composite muscles hence they have dual supply means they are hybrid muscles which have dual supply. So pectineus is supplied by femoral nerve and obturator nerve. So it is supplied by femoral nerve and obturator nerve. Here is this. While the adductor magnus it is supplied by obturator nerve that is the posterior division of obturator nerve. This is adductor magnus and also the tibial part of sciatic nerve. So the posterior part that is the ischial part of adductor magnus comes under the posterior compartment or hamstring compartment which is supplied by the tibial part of sciatic nerve and rest of the adductor magnus is included under the adductor compartment which is supplied by the posterior division of obturator nerve. So pectineus is a flat quadrilateral muscle which lies in the floor of the femoral triangle between psoas major laterally and adductor longus medially. So if you see pectineus, this is pectineus muscle. So pectineus muscle, it gets origin from the pectin pubis. That is the upper border of the pubis. So if you know one thing here, notice one thing, all the adductor muscles, they get origin from the pubis, especially from the anterior part of the pubis. So pectineus gets origin from the pectineal line of the pubis and also from the ramus of the pubis and pectineal fascia. And if you observe here, it gets inserted near the lesser trochanter, just below the lesser trochanter. So it slopes downwards and laterally and inserts into the lesser trochanter, from the lesser trochanter to the upper border of the linear aspera.
so that is about the pectineus pectineus is a hybrid muscle because it is supplied by two nerves one is the femoral nerve the other is the anterior division of obturator nerve so that is the reason it is considered as a hybrid muscle and the action of pectineus is it helps in the adduction so pectineus it helps in adduction so it helps in the adduction of the hip joint okay the next muscle is a triangular muscle which we can see here called as adductor longus muscle uh, which uh, lies in the same plane as pectineus and it forms the floor and as well as the medial boundary of uh, femoral triangle so it arises as a round tendon you can see it gets origin as a round tendon from the anterior surface of the pubis that is front of the body of the pubis and uh, it gets inserted as a fleshy belly we can see it uh, very broad insertion having like a base of the triangle and it inserts to the medial one third of the linea aspera if you are happen to see the osteology of the femur in the previous sessions a uh, posterior surface of the femur is rough called as linea aspera so the nerve supply is by anterior division of obturator nerve and adductor longus is a powerful adductor muscle and apart from adduction of thigh it also helps in medial rotation so medial rotator of the thigh at the hip joint so that is about the adductor longus adductor brevis it is also a small triangular muscle uh, which sometimes peeps into the floor of the femoral triangle between the pectineus and adductor longus so this is adductor brevis muscle and uh, its origin is uh, from the anterior surface of the body of the pubis and outer surface of the inferior ramus of the pubis also between the gracilis and obturator externus it gets origin and insertion the muscle passes downwards backwards and laterally and to be inserted along the line extending from the lesser trochanter to the upper part of the linea aspera so almost near to the insertion of pectineus so it gets inserted just behind the pectineus in uh, an upper part of the adductor longus so it is about to the adductor longus next about the nerve supply adductor brevis it is supplied by the obturator nerve and it helps in the adduction of hip joint the next muscle is also a large composite muscle or a hybrid muscle called as adductor magnus quite bulkier muscle it is so adductor magnus it is a large composite muscle consisting of two parts adductor part and hamstring part so from the posterior side which gets origin from the ischial tuberosity is the hamstring part and the rest is the adductor part it arises from the adductor part arises from the outer surface of the ischio pubic ramus so it gets uh, origin from the ischio pubic ramus that is the junction between the ischium and the pubis this part and it gets uh, an hamstring part uh, get origin from the inferolateral part of ischial tuberosity so it gets origin from the inferolateral part of ischial tuberosity and the fibers of adductor part passes obliquely downwards backwards and inserts into a linear fashion to the medial margin of the gluteal tuberosity and medial lip of the linea aspera so all the medial side is the adductor side so it gets inserted to the medial lip of the linea aspera and also including near the gluteal margin on the posterior aspect of the femur whereas hamstring part it continues till the insertion continues till a tubercle called as adductor tubercle adductor tubercle it is present uh, above the medial epicondyle of the femur it is a prominent projection called as adductor tubercle so we can see its insertion till the adductor tubercle within this adductor magnus the gap that is uh, the upper part of the medial supracondylar line up to adductor uh, tubercle this gap is called as adductor hiatus adductor hiatus so adductor tubercle is hamstring part insertion whereas the adductor part inserts into the medial lip of linea aspera 
so the nerve supply it is a dual supply it uh, helps in the adduction and medial rotation of the thigh at the hip joint and hamstring part it is a weak extensor of the thigh of the hip joint so that is about the action of adductor magnus muscle the next muscle which we are going to talk is about the gracilis so gracilis is a long slender muscle uh, which gets inserted to the upper medial surface of the tibia along with the sartorius and semitendinosus forming a gyrops muscle gracilis in greek it means slender so it is a thin slender muscle among adductor uh, uh, muscles compared to other adductor muscles and it is the only muscle in the adductor compartment which is not attached to the femur that is the thing you have to see look upon it it arises from the medial margin lower half of the body of the pubis so you can see it gets origin from the body of the pubis anterior part and also from partly from inferior pubic ramus and uh, it is inserted one thing i told already on the medial surface upper part of tibia that is the unique thing about the gracilis and nerve supply it is uh, supplied by the anterior division of obturator nerve and uh, coming to the actions it is the adductor of the thigh so in addition it also helps in the flexion of the knee joint because it crosses the knee joint and it is the medial rotator of the leg also so i'll list down the actions here it helps in the adduction of thigh and it is a flexor of knee joint which is unique about flexor of knee joint and also medial rotator of leg not thigh leg that you have to note it so these three are the actions of gracilis so next we shall continue with the obturator externus muscle obturator externus is like a fan shaped muscle lying above the lateral to pectineus so you can see here this is the obturator foramen on one side i am showing whereas the other side the outer part of the obturator foramen it is covered by this muscle called as obturator externus muscle it is lateral to the pectineus strictly speaking it is not the muscle of adductor compartment but uh, we describe it here because it is close in relationship with the structures of adductor compartment of the thigh and uh, origin of it it arises from the outer surface anterior half of the obturator membrane which covers this obturator foramen and also the adjoining anterior inferior margins of obturator foramen so that is the origin and uh, insertion the fibers converge backwards here and uh, this spiral upward over the inferior and posterior surface of the neck of the femur and gets inserted to the trochanteric fossa so you can see here it is going here and this is the greater trochanter so if you see the greater trochanter on the medial side there is a deep depression here so here is the obturator externus so within the fossa this is the tip or the apex of the greater trochanter this is greater trochanter so it is inserting on the medial surface of the greater trochanter into the trochanteric fossa and nerve supply it is supplied by posterior division of obturator nerve but action it is not the adduction here you have to remember it is a lateral rotator so it is along with the other lateral rotators of of thigh so that is the action of obturator externus so by this we finished all the adductor compartment muscles thank you